So when you see people having their online battles saying that's not centrifugal force, it's centripetal force, and people get really pedantic about it, do you have a position or do you just... You seem like you would. I, I have a position on everything. Um, it depends what frame you're in, right? It really does, you know. It, and if you're in a rotating frame, it makes sense to talk about centrifugal forces. And if you're in a non-rotating frame, it makes sense to talk about centripetal forces. The interesting thing is that Marx's principle says there is a fundamental difference between a rotating frame and a non-rotating frame, which does mean that there really isn't an equivalence between these two things, which actually means that the people who say, actually, it's a centripetal force are probably right. But someone, but saying centrifugal force doesn't exist is kind of an unfair thing to say either, because it's centrifugal force just means a force pushing me towards something. Uh, it, yeah, but in the kind of the conventional sense of it, it's what's sometimes referred to as a pseudo force, because actually it only exists because the, the reference frame that you're in is rotating. And if you went to a reference frame in which you're not rotating, suddenly actually the centri centrifugal force ceases to make any sense at all, and it, centripetal force is the only game in town. thick lane of dust really in the plane of the Milky Way, which is why when you look in some directions you see very few stars actually directly in the plane, because you're really looking right into that very thin, intense plane of dust, whereas when you look above it or below it, you start seeing stars again. You looked, you I looked. Did not. I is did that not. Messier 64 or? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, all right. Know <laughs> <laughs> it all. I'll stop now. I know it all. Get out while I'm ahead. What's been drawn by John Herschel this time? 